It's training to support readiness. The Joint Response Training held Wednesday at Naval Base at the Guam Guard and Joint Region Marianas Fire and Emergency Services, as well as other first responders, familiarized themselves with a UH-72 Lakota helicopter. JRM Regional Fire Chief Christopher Connolly detailed more on the exercise. So one of our primary missions as, as DOD firefighters is uh, aviation rescue and firefighting. So what do we want to do is be able to have a better understanding of how to uh, essentially at this point rescue the pilots and air crew from their, you know, say uh, an in-flight mishap, hard landing, crash, those kinds of things. But secondary to that, we want to be able to uh, utilize them as potentially a, a medical carrier in the event that we have a, a, a large mass casualty or something like that where we would actually take one of our advanced life support ambulances, transfer a patient over to the helicopter, then the helicopter would take it as an in-flight uh, medical response to one of the neighboring uh, hospitals. The training's goal is to have them practice safety, emergency shutdown, and medical evacuation procedures. Guam National Guard Lakota pilot and aviation safety officer Brian Andares. The training's mainly on uh, crash fire rescue. So it's just to educate the, um, main, the emergency services uh, in the event that we do uh, encounter, you know, worst case scenario. A crash over um, their property and they'd have to respond, they know how to extract us uh, as well as how to extinguish the fire based off of the uh, unique specifications of our aircraft. And Darius gave the rundown of what gear the UH-72 Lakota helicopter is equipped with to save someone's life. Specifically this aircraft is configured for medevac and with that we, we specifically have um, life sustaining uh, capabilities uh, on board the aircraft at all times. Uh, for example, uh, we have a Zol um, patient monitor system as well as suction if that's required. Uh, at the same time, we have something really unique. We have a, a, a flight paramedic in the back who's able to administer and um, uh, keep the uh, patient going until we can get them to a high level of care. These operations are critical to developing the skills needed to respond to operational missions in the region to ensure a stable, free, and open Indo-Pacific. First responders from Gov Guam took part in the exercise as well, along with firefighters and paramedics from the Camp Blas Fire Department. Daniel Perez reporting for KUAM News.